Hey guys, so this video is sponsored by NHS Go, which is a new app that the NHS has launched, which is there to help young people know more about their health and get advice. And so I wanted to talk about sexual health. Surprise, surprise. So obviously your sexual health is super duper important. When it comes to sexual health and our bodies, it's not just STIs that fall under that umbrella. It's also about your just vaginal health, your penis health, all of the genitals and boobies as well. They need looking after. And there's definitely a lot of things that I wasn't taught when I was a kid or a teenager and either had to figure out for myself when I was older or somebody eventually told me when I was older and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Why has no one told me this until now? And so because I didn't get the sex education that I think we all deserve and I'm still learning new things every day, I asked you guys on Twitter what you wish you'd known about your sexual or genital health. And I just thought I'd go through some of your responses and like talk through them. My hair's coming out. Oh, maybe that's better. Phil S. Barnett says, the other person probably doesn't know how to put a Johnny on either. Find out together or Google. This is true. So many people don't know how to put a condom on properly. And I really love the suggestion of finding out together because that's just like really fun thing to do with your sexual partner. But if you were wondering, um, should we do a demonstration? Do I have spare condoms? Of course you do, Hannah. Come on. You rip it like this way. Make sure you're not tearing into the actual condom. So you rip it like towards the edge. So you want to get it so that it all it rolls down like outwards. So just like a little test. Yep, it's rolling that way. And then you pinch the top. You have to pinch the top so that it doesn't like collect air. And then you put on the penis or sex toy. And then you roll and you roll and you roll. <laughs> it doesn't do this if it's on an object and you roll it all the way down to the base and you're good. Now I've got luby hands. Luby hands. Luby hands. Wow, so that response went to a place that I wasn't expecting. Sonia O'Reilly says um, that masturbation is a thing that exists and it's great and normal and kind of awesome. Also, no soap in the vag. I love this. Yes, masturbation is great and it is normal and you can do it if you want to do it and there is no shame in that. And it's super healthy and a great way to get to know your body and understand your own pleasure. Also, the no soap in the vag thing. Yes, don't do it, people. If you have a vagina, you should know that your vagina is amazing. It is a self-cleaning system. You don't need to put any products up there to clean it out, make it smell better. You can just wash your vagina with your hands and hot water. Jenny says, don't shave bikini line, you'll get ingrown hairs the size of grapes. Whoa. I'm not sure if you're exaggerating. I've never seen ingrown hairs the size of grapes, but I'm sure if I just dig around on YouTube, I might be able to find them because there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. I kind of believe each to their own with what you want to do with your pubic hair and if you want to remove it, your method of choice of how you want to remove it, but it is true that if you shave, you will get ingrown hairs. Um, and they're not, they're not great. I got very confused because people kept telling me about ingrown hairs, but I've never seen an ingrown hair and I was like, how will I recognize an ingrown hair if I have one? when I have it, if I don't know what it looks like. I'm genuinely, should I Google ingrown hairs? Is this gonna be bad for me? Oh, oh, oh wait, it's cartoon diagrams. Whew. Oh, mm, guys, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> this video really is going somewhere that I did not expect. Jaxie Waxy says, was never taught how to check my balls until recently. Yeah, I get this. I mean, I don't have balls, but I've been told my whole life, or at least since I got boobs, is that, just check your boobs for any lumps in, and it might be a sign of breast cancer and go get it checked out. And I'm like, but my whole boob is just like full of lumps and bumps. Which ones are normal and which ones aren't? And I'm just there like just touching my boobs just going, I don't know. But yeah, I also only learned recently how to uh, self-examine my breasts. <laughs> breasts. 
Alice Lissy says, Vaginal discharge is perfectly normal. Yes, Alice, it's very, very normal. It also took me ages to figure that out, because I was like, what is all of this stuff in my underwear every day? And I felt embarrassed about it, and then I realised that every person with a vagina gets it. Like I said, that's your vagina doing the cleaning. It's cleaning out, flushing it all up, very healthy. Very, very healthy. Laurie Helena says, I wish there would have been more information about non-heterosexual sex and about consent. Me too, Laurie, me too. We weren't really taught that much about sex that didn't happen between a man and a woman and penis and vagina. And all I was ever taught about consent at school was no means no and that's not enough. Andrew Vickers 26 says I wish I knew that STDs are something to be aware of but also not to obsess over them. Yes I get this because you want to be aware of them and you want to be keeping safe but you don't want to obsess over them in the sense of um, like disgust and shame and embarrassment and all of those like negative uh, feelings that could be associated with them. Speaking of STDs and STIs I actually went to sexual health clinic this morning to go get tested. I think that um, people who are sexually active should get regularly tested like once or twice a year or whenever you change sexual partners as much as possible really and also use, use condoms guys, use condoms. I went to the clinic this morning, had a blood test, did my own vaginal swab in private so you know, bish bash bosh, lovely jubbly. And then they just send you a text a few hours later so you don't have to do the nerve wracking calling them up on the phone and getting them to tell you results. STIs are a thing, get yourself checked out. If you do have an STI, you're not dirty. You're not disgusting. Go to your doctor, get the right medication and help that you need and use condoms. La Leanne says, labia have so many different shapes and sizes. Yes, they do. And different colours. And it's all wonderful. I find it really upsetting when I see people with vaginas getting um, self-conscious about them because they see a certain type of like small and tucked and neat vagina in porn and that doesn't look anything like their own vagina. It's very normal for like one labia to be bigger than the other um, or for your labia menorah to stick out between your labia majora. Wait, I've not really talked about penises. Let's see if I can find one about a penis. SSJGus1 says, what's the function slash purpose of my foreskin? Great question. Um, gonna be real with you. I don't know. Should we Google it? Keeping the glands moist, protecting the developing penis in utero, or enhancing sexual pleasure due to the pr presence of nerve receptors. For skins, great. I think we talked about genitals quite enough, don't you? No, it's never enough. Always talk about genitals, it's great. Thank you guys for tweeting me those responses. They were super helpful and even led me to do some of my own Googling of ingrown hair and foreskins. So, you know, everyone's a winner today. Like I said, this video is sponsored by NHS Go, which is a free app that you can download and there'll be a link in the description where you can download it and it's got loads of stuff and covers all the things that we've been talking about so it's got a section on sex and relationships a section on lgbt and a section on puberty and it's also got loads of other things on there just like general health mental health each of these sections has loads of like faqs and different um bits of advice and loads of sections like it covers everything so if you have any questions and you are not quite ready to go to a doctor or see another medical professional about it because you're too nervous then definitely check out this app because there is all of the information that you could want on there and then you can make an informed decision about whether or not you need to go see a doctor and then if you do need to go see a doctor it has this services bit where you just put in your postcode and you can see all of your local services from like GP to sexual health clinic to other clinics and then also has a section about your rights as in what rights that you have through the NHS. Genuinely I have been a very ill girl most of my life and have stayed in hospitals a lot. I love the NHS and I love that the NHS have an app for young people. I'm like all about it. So yeah, so definitely download the NHS Go app and you can check out their website, nhsgo.uk and, oh, just leftover bit of condom wrapper. 
great thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments if i missed any things that you wish that you had learned when you were younger because i just feel like there's just so much more out there that we just missed don't forget to subscribe because i make new videos every week and i'll see you soon bye